Hey guys, Umberto here from Emax Fitness. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I wanna show you a few row variations that can help you build a thick, strong back. A lot of you want to add a row variation into your program and with today's video I'm trying to help you clear your mind on which one you should go for. There are a lot of row variations that you can find around but for today we're gonna concentrate on the 10 I think are the most important. We are going to have a look at the main characteristic of each one and why you should be adding them into your program. But just a moment before we go ahead. On this channel we try to help you get stronger and beefier and if lifting weights is your passion please hit the subscribe button. Button. Back to the row. Let's start first from the pendulum row. Based on starting strength, this is the row. And that's how it's supposed to be done. On this variation, the weight is gonna actually be on the floor. You're gonna start from a dead stop and you're gonna push your way back up really fast. This variation is focused mainly on speed and power. And as the weight goes heavier, you're gonna end up possibly doing a deadlift row where you're gonna lose a little bit of leg drive to get the weight up. This variation can be very taxing to the lower back and if you're not sure on how to set up correctly or you're not sure how to perform a bend over row, I'll leave a link up here for a step-by-step -step guide that I just released recently for the bend over row. The Yates row or the supinated row. The main characteristic of this row is that you're gonna have an underhand grip. You're also going to have a, a more upright position. You won't go any lower than a 45 degrees angle. Those two main characteristics are helping you to lift more weight and work on your arms at the same time. So this is specifically focusing on your upper back and not your lats or your mid back. But because it requires so much more bicep engagement, you better be careful not to overstretch your bicep and end up tearing them. You also require some sort of wrist mobility to perform this exercise as it's gonna try to rotate your hand all the time. Number three, the seal row. The idea behind this variation is to eliminate completely the momentum you get at the beginning of the motion. I personally like to add the pose at the top of the squeeze just to increase the amount of time I spend under the tension. This is an excellent option if you're actually suffering a lower back pain because we are taking away completely this bending over position and your back is gonna be more relaxed. Now we're going to move to the landmine and we're gonna start with one arm row. Once you set up this, uh, the landmine, you can actually use it for rowing in different angles. Remember to use smaller plates just to try to achieve a bigger range of motion. With this variation, the barbell forces you to follow a specific line, a specific angle. So your initial positioning is going to determine what muscles you're going to use. Make sure that you anchor the bar to a very strong point, because if it's not heavy enough, the barbell will keep moving and will distract you from your exercise. As we already set up the landmine, now we're gonna move to the middles row. This is focus on 100% on your upper back. And if you're brave enough, you can also work on your grip while you do it. If you struggle to hold the barbell in that position, I strongly suggest you use it with lifting straps. We're gonna keep staying on the landmine and this time we're gonna do the V-bar row. I personally like to add a strap for this bar. Uh, it's basically a swinging chair uh, strap that I found on Amazon and um, I, I like to extend my range of motion so I'm not gonna touch my plates. With this variation, with this close grip, we're gonna work more on those muscles that are very close to your spine that help you retract to your scapulas. There is also a massive degree of engagement with your biceps so you're gonna get an arm workout as you do that. It's time to go for something different and I personally like to go for kettlebell row. This variation works on your entire back and if you had the twist motion like I'm doing on this part you're gonna work more on your forearms, on your biceps and on your athletic calf. For the last three row variations we're gonna work with dumbbells. The first one is obviously the dumbbell row. With this one, I personally feel like I'm achieving more range of motion compared to the barbell version. I like the fact that it stretches my upper back fully. I love the stretch. And when I pull the weight back up, I feel like I got more freedom to get the weights where I want it to be. The bench assisted row. This variation requires a bit of a setup, but is very safe for the lower back. This is also ideal for those that tend to move too much while they perform the bend over row, any row variation. If you feel like your, your row is ending almost upright, you're possibly moving every time you do a rep. With the bench, you're gonna have the option to have a feedback point, a reference point, and so you're gonna realize if you're actually moving off the bench or not. And we end this list with one arm dumbbell row. 
This is extremely practical. It can be done anywhere, even a very crowded gym. And this is quite safe for the lower back too. With this variation, you can focus on range of motion, on speed, on weights, on mass. I find this being extremely versatile and I strongly suggest you to add this in your program. I understand that not everyone can work with free weights at all the time. And when you go to a commercial gym at peak time, you want to keep hold of whatever equipment that you can get your hands on. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to work your full back just using an adjustable cable machine. Guys, I hope you found value on today's video. If you did, make sure you show some love by hitting the like button and share this video with your friends. And remember that you can always leave some suggestions or feedback in the comment below. Thanks for watching till this point. I'll catch you on the next video. Ciao.